Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs> everybody what's going on and welcome to GNR Central and today I want to do a video answering one of the age-old questions if you're a Guns N' Roses fan and that is what happened to Stephanie Seymour who plays Axel's wife in the November Rain music video and why does she end up dead at the end of the video so let's look at the most obvious clues that are in the video so all of a sudden you know they're they're getting married they're at the wedding reception party it seems like things are going well at least on the surface and all of a sudden she's in a casket now, one thing you'll notice is that uh, there's a mirror in the casket, so you can only, it looks like you can only see half of her face. So for victims of head trauma and for their families who want to have an open casket, it's pretty common to put a mirror in the casket to make their face look whole. From all the clues that we've seen in the video, it's pretty obvious that she was shot in the head. Now, who's responsible for that shot? Was it herself or was it her partner, Axel? We'll get a little bit more into that in later in this video. So what did the band members think of the video and did they drop any clues in terms of exactly what the video is about? Here's what they had to say. Guns N' Roses earned the Video Vanguard Award by elevating the art of music video to dramatic heights, especially through the elaborate November Rain and Don't Cry clips. Those videos are two parts of a continuing saga, which the band plans to expand into a feature-length film. It was a fictional story that my friend Dell wrote based off... He was in, you know, I inspired him to write this story, you know, because, you know, we were a rock band and we were working on our first album. I mean, it wasn't even out yet, and I was pretty much out of control, and... We were all into the rock and roll lifestyle, and he wrote this story about this this guy that just becomes bigger than life, and the troubles he has in his relationship and keeping that together, and basically about this couple in this in this relationship and trying to deal with this lifestyle and and how and what happens to them, and so little by little. You know, we'd, we'd think about it and figure out how the next part of the story and stuff, we'd talk about it, and then he'd write a little bit more and here and there. And all of a sudden, it was kind of like, we sold 8 million records. And all of a sudden, I was becoming what he had written about. And he called me really upset one day, going, wow, I, I wrote my friend's death. You know, because like, like we in the one video, like, where well, right, we find my gravestone and stuff like that. You know, that really freaked him out. You know, he writes horror stories. And so it's kind of like a fictional story that's yet autobiographical and based off things that happen in real life. And now it's like, with Stephanie, it's a real trip because some things are based off my relationship, my previous relationship, and some things are fictional, but I'm in a relationship with her. Axel's girlfriend, model Stephanie Seymour, co-stars in Don't Cry and November Rain. In both music videos, Stephanie takes on roles partially inspired by Axel's ex-wife, Erin Everly, one of the women in the Sweet Child of Mine clip. It's really strange, you know, and it, it's really it's a bit difficult for her that she gets into the parts and understands <laughs> what we're doing. But it's, sometimes it's very surreal, like when, when we got married, it was... I mean, Slash like, looked at me and goes, dude, I just watched you get married nine times. Surreal is one thing, but for some viewers, the videos for Don't Cry and November Rain are just plain confusing. And the fans aren't the only people wondering what the videos are about. I have no idea what it means at all. I mean, you know, it's just the obvious of what anybody that watches it, you know, gets it. But, you know, when you're doing it... You're supposed to be on the inside. I know, I, 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 I was on the inside, and I'm still confused. I, you know, I'm waiting for the movie to come out. Both those videos, even if you don't understand them, or you can't make any sense of them, they're very compelling to watch, because you want to try and figure it out, you know? And, uh, I mean, I catch myself, like, flipping through channels. I hit on TV, and I'll see one of us on there, and I'll, I'll stop for a minute, you know? And, uh, you know, look at it, and it means something new to me every time I see it. I'm really proud of Don't Cry in November Rain. That's, I really like the, the writing of the story and putting all the scenes together. Or why did she die? How did she die? What happened? And it's like, right. oh, we'll tell you later. 
So almost 20 years after the video came out, you would think a guy like Slash would know what the music video is actually supposed to mean and what it's about. Um, question coming in from the HuffPost Live community. Anya Streisman says, Slash, what was the video for November Rain actually about? After all these years and even walking down the aisle to the song, and she's not kidding, she really did this. I'm still not sure I get it. Is that who I met earlier? That is who you okay, met. That yeah. is her right there. All right. Um, you know what, to tell you the truth, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it just, it, it, it was a concept. I mean, I, you know, the song itself is pretty self-explanatory, self but the video is so complex. And I remember, you know, when Axel was writing it, it just became, it was so epic, it was like a movie. And I, not being a huge fan of videos and making videos especially, um, I just showed up for my scenes. You know, I, write, I write my own scene, and this is what I want to do in my section. I never paid attention to the rest of the whole production, so yeah. at the end of the day, I never really knew. I knew there was a wedding in there somewhere, and I was not into the concept of the wedding. Really? And, and frowned, you, like, and, and frowned, you frowned upon it. Yeah. Yeah, why? I don't know. <laughs> Just because that seemed to me like what I would do, I guess, you know. Now let's go back to the beginning of the video. So at one of the early scenes where they're getting married in the church, the moment Axel lives up, lifts up Stephanie's veil, you can see she's got a very downcast and melancholy look on her face, almost like she's not really into the idea of marrying Axel. And then a couple scenes later, you see them get into the car and drive away, and Stephanie has a very similar kind of look, a sad look on her face as they're about to drive away. Now let's turn to one of the most common themes you see throughout the video, and that's the theme of blood. Now there's a lot of metaphors that are used to represent blood in the video. There's the red wine you see at the reception that the, basically the patrons are drinking. There's the red bouquet of flowers, which originally is white, but then turns red once it hits the casket. There's the red coat that Axel's seen wearing in this video, as well as in Don't Cry. Plus there's the crying Jesus that cries blood. And then there's a spilled bottle of wine. We'll come back and explore this metaphor in a little bit, but let's move on to the other thing I want to talk about. Now let's start looking at the theories behind why Stephanie Seymour dies. So one of the most common theories that I've heard online is that she dies because of acid rain. So when they're at the reception, it starts raining and, and all of the attendees try to seek shelter. Now, some people online think that it has to do because the rain is acidic and people are scared of burning their flesh. But... To be honest, acid rain is not exactly the same as you see it in The Simpsons. Just because you're exposed to it doesn't mean it's going to burn your flesh. In fact, it's probably perfectly safe to walk through a puddle of acid rain. The second most common theory I've heard is that Stephanie Seymour's character falls over the balcony. So towards the end of the video, she throws her bouquet to the wedding guests and uh, apparently she's supposed to turn around, but she falls over the balcony and injures herself and dies. Another theory I've heard is that Stephanie Seymour did not fall over the edge. Instead, she was struck by lightning, and that's why the hotel guests were seeking shelter when it started to rain. So let's get now to some of the more plausible theories. One of the most common theories is that Axel himself shot his bride. There's a scene in the video where Axel's kind of walking through a deserted western town, and he walks past a gun store. Now, some fans have basically... I said that this is not a proper theory because Guns has basically a reference to the band's name Guns N' Roses and not an actual gun store. Now let's explain exactly why the bride died. So if you guys don't know already, the story of why she died is taken from the story that Del James wrote. So if you didn't know, Del James's real name is Adalberto James Miranda. So for those who don't know, Del James is a writer, a music, musician, journalist, and he's very close to Axl Rose. So back in the day, he was the band's biographer. Now he's the band's tour manager. So he wrote a series of short stories called The Language of Fear. And one of these novels is titled Without You. And it's precisely the story from which the music video for November Rain is taken. So the story is about a famous singer named Maine who plays in a band called Suicide Shift. So much like Axel, Maine is full of money, but he has various problems related to alcohol and drugs. Now Axel never really had alcohol and drug problems, but, you know, the other parts of the story where he's in a band and he's full of money is, you know, loosely based on Axel's life. So the only positive note in Maine's life is his relationship with his girlfriend Elizabeth, who, who betrays him repeatedly. He seems to do everything to make their story a hell. A life spent between uh, aban abandonments, reconciliations, excess, and money and avalanches, which circulate in his hands thanks to the single Without You, which Maine dedicates to his girlfriend. So one day, uh, during one of their usual reconciliation attempts after a separation, Maine goes to Elizabeth's apartment, hears a gunshot, and then basically walks into the room to see her lying on the floor in her own pool of blood. 
And that explains all of the references and metaphors to blood throughout the music video. So at the end of the day, the bride died because she killed herself. So that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts behind the music video for November Rain. Is there anything I missed or any themes or metaphors you picked up on in the video? Put them in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe if you love GNR as much as I do. You guys can also go check us out at GNRcentral.com for the latest and greatest Guns N' Roses news. Take care.